good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today, I am delighted, because I get to show you the Latias and Latios promos coming out in Dragon Majesty. Now remember, this is going to be that set where you can't just go and buy a booster pack. You are going to have to buy these special packs and we've got some images of Latios and Latias. Now, as a quick side note, Latias, who is my baby daughter spirit Pokemon, as I've mentioned on a number of occasions, has a Prism Star coming, which is amazing. It allows you to attach one basic energy from your discard to each of your benched basic dragon Pokemon. And Latios has a Prism Star coming. That's nowhere near as good, but it's still kind of interesting. Double colorless energy, 50 damage for each of your evolved dragons in play. And I told you that these shouldn't be the promos coming out in Dragon Majesty. Because they're not in Dragon Majesty, they're in Sun and Moon 7 proper. And I told you that these promos were likely to be different. Vindication, ladies and gentlemen. Because these images have been revealed by PokerBeach.com and would you believe it? They are in fact new and exclusive promos. Yay, etc. Although they're going to be coming with pins, so you know. Although you can't see them on the images, but I'm sure they're supposed to be coming with pins. Maybe they're just not in Italy. Anyway, I'm going to be getting these, especially the Latias ones. So the question is, what do they do? Well, they are both dragon Pokemon, which means they've got certain tricks, thanks to Dragon Majesty. Things like Zinnia, which if you had a Pokemon KO'd the previous turn, allows you to attach two basic energy from your hand to one of your dragon Pokemon. And of course, we've still got Devoured Field, which allows you to do an extra 10 damage with your dragon Pokemon. So it's not all bad. Of course, you are hitting nothing for weakness, because nothing's weak to Dragon. And Dedene will be a nice counter against you, because Dedene will do 120 with weakness for a double colorless energy, as long as there's a lightning Pokemon on the field. Yay, etc. The one thing we don't have, unfortunately, is retreat costs. They are going to be weak to Fairy, although it doesn't say it here. I'm happy to predict that. In terms of HP, Latias has 110, Latios has 120, which means they can both be one hit KO'd by Zoroark, and it means they can both be one hit KO'd by Dedene. So in terms of HP here, I remain not terribly impressed. We will start off having a look at Latias because, let's face it, Latias is awesome. Double colorless energy, 30 damage, plus sleep. It's not a bad attack. It's not bad for a kind of, hey, it's a basic, it's a single energy, let's do this. The problem is, it's for a double colorless energy, which is a special energy, which most of the time we would rather use somewhere else. And you're hitting nothing for weakness. Now, if you're hitting 30 damage, but you're hitting for weakness, then potentially you're getting something like an Alolan Vulpix, which has 60 HP. Or a Zorua, which has 60 HP. Or a Ralts, that has 60 HP. Unfortunately, Dragon doesn't hit anything for weakness, so you're just doing the 30, which we're not happy about. Then you get the sleep, but as I've mentioned in a bunch of videos lately, post-rotation we're losing float stone, so you can assume that a skateboard is going to be our retreating tool du jour, which allows you to retreat even if you're asleep. So, between Guzma and a skateboard, which I expect most decks to be playing, I don't expect special conditions to be particularly good. 30 damage isn't particularly enough, and we're left with a fairly uninspiring attack. You can use it to waste time, but bearing in mind with sleep, right, your opponent's got a 50% chance of being awake on their turn straight after anyway. Boo, hiss, etc. Fire, psychic, colorless, 110 damage. And we don't know what the effect is. There is an effect we can see that, but unfortunately we don't actually know what the effect is. And we end up with Dragon Pokemon, as always, with these really dumb attack costs. If we go back a little bit, that's fine by me. Because we had double Dragon Energy. And actually, don't forget, Counter Gain is coming out here. So with Counter Gain, what we can actually do is attach this, if you're behind on prizes. It will then reduce the attack cost by one colorless energy. And then you've actually got 110 for a double dragon energy. That would be quite nice. Unfortunately, that's not generally the way it goes. 
and we don't have double dragon energy. Now, interestingly enough, we do have counter energy. And counter energy basically is two of any energy when you're behind on prizes. So if you're behind on prizes, you can actually whack a counter gain and a counter energy onto Latias here. And you are off and rolling. So that could be kind of interesting. Problem is, it does 110 damage. And yeah, it, it does 110 damage. And that's a bit of an issue, to be perfectly honest with you. Because what are you KOing here? Another Latias? A Tapu Coco promo? You're not really doing a huge amount of damage. I'm not... As much as I love Latias Prism Star, and I do, I just don't know if we're doing enough damage here. Now, we don't know what the effect is, but Poker Beach actually had the attack name translated as Mist Ball. And there was a Latias that had Mist Ball previously from Great Encounters, which discarded a Fire and a Water Energy. So maybe it's discarding energy. Oh, no, wait. And there was a Latias that had Mist Ball Previously again, it was the Latias from EX Dragon, and it discarded a fire and a water energy, and there was a Latias that had Mist Ball back in Pop 7, and it discarded a fire and a water energy. Although that was a reprint of the one from Great Encounters. My point being, it's clearly going to be discarding a couple of energy. I don't think it could be anything else, to be perfectly honest. Although interesting to know that the attack cost has changed from Fire and Water to Fire and Psychic. They've changed a bunch of Dragon Pokemon attack costs. Hey-ho. In terms of Latios, one colorless energy, 20 damage, search your deck for a basic energy, and attach it to this Pokemon. You know what? That makes perfect sense. But it's a bit annoying. And we've talked about this in a... There have been a lot of Pokemon lately that have done this. And... Okay, you do 20 damage, but again, you're hitting nothing for weakness. You attach the energy to yourself, and then you sit there and let your opponent have a free hit. And what's really annoying about this is that you're weak to Gardevoir. Oh, no, wait, because Gardevoir with two energy gets a one-hit KO anyway. And since they've got to have at least one energy on themselves, if you've got one energy on you, Gardevoir one-hit KOs for a single energy. But something like a Tapu Lele here will do an extra 20 damage when you put that energy onto yourself. It's just not terribly inspiring. The good news is, it attaches from the deck, so it does mean that you can get this second attack going just a little bit faster. And it is an awkward attack cost again. Now, it is Water Psychic, and there looks to be a third energy cost there, but it's clearly going to be colourless because it's going to mirror Latias here. I don't think that's a particularly controversial statement. And the good news is here that you're doing 140. Which is a much, much more relevant amount of damage. Because now you add a choice band and you're getting a one-hit KO on a Tapu Lele. And you add a Devoured Field. And you're doing 180, so stuff like Drampa, or far more relevantly, Rayquaza GX, will be going down in a single hit. So although the attack cost is awkward here, we can actually imagine using this because it's doing enough damage. 110, frankly, isn't good enough. But 140 with the other tricks we've got does put us into... Ooh! Ooh, maybe that could work kind of territory now if we carry on the theme from latias here latios had a pokemon in great encounters and it had luster purge that did 120 and discarded all of the energy by which i mean free of the energy and latios ex that came out in ex dragon i.e mirroring the latias also had Luster Purge and also discarded free energy. So even though we don't know the effects here, Latias, if it's Mist Ball, we kind of know what that does. And both of the Latias prints that had Mist Ball had equivalent prints of Latios that had Luster Purge, which discarded free energy. So clearly the effect here is discard free energy attached to this Pokemon. So does that mean it's actually going to cost four energy rather than three? 
I don't know off the top of my head exactly. But again, don't forget you can use stuff like Counter Energy and Counter Gain. Neither of these Pokemon are great. I like the first attack more on Latias because I like to sleep. I like the second attack more on Latios because it does a bit more damage. Both are almost certainly discarding energy. There we go. I'm going to give both of them between two and three Wossies. I don't like them that much. But I tell you what, Latios could be a good tech because it does almost enough damage, and in some circumstances does. And Latias is amazing, it's my baby daughter spirit Pokemon. I intend buying many of these pin collections. Alrighty then. So, time for you to tell me what you think about these cards in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. And do check out my video game slash Dragon Ball Super channel, Wassy Plays for some more wassy action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.